Today's limited equipment option, guys, is brought to you by, well, us. So please smash that subscribe button, like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll keep delivering this content. Now, part A, we're going to be doing that same one from, from the, uh, the body weight, so you guys can just go up and look at that. It's glute bridges and dead bugs. And then we have a nine minute AMRAP, which is gonna be a kettlebell or dumbbell deadlift. We'll be doing chair dips, and then it'll be 30 double unders each round, okay? This is gonna work. The flow of this looks like this. Six, we're gonna do six deadlifts, six dips, followed by 30 double unders. If you need to, to scale those double unders down, say that those double unders are taking you three or four sets, scale it down to where it takes you no more than two sets, okay? Now, with that said, just look to move steady and pick a weight that you can move steady through. And then if you have to, we'll kind of change these dips as needed. Obviously, if you have a way to do some sort of elevated dips without using a chair, go for it. Make this your own and do whatever you need to. Now let's go over the movements. So again, the first move we're gonna go over is going to be that kettlebell deadlift. Okay, so we should drive standing straight up, and straight back down, keeping the hips high, touching the ground, locking it out at the top, okay? Next is gonna be that chair dip. Okay, so we're just gonna have the hands on the edge of the chair, all the way down, all the way up. Excellent, we can bring the knees in. Again, range of motion is key here. We see that the shoulder is getting down to as low as the elbow, and that's what we're looking for, okay? Um, after that, we've got those double unders, and again, it's gonna look like this, just nice and smooth. Hitting some dubs, right? If you have to do single unders, you can do that. And I would tell you, if you guys are working on double unders and you're always avoiding them, what better time to do them than now, right? So maybe on this workout, you try to just take string two or three double unders together and then continue doing single unders. That's a great way to start getting better at these, these uh, higher level movements as far as a double under. Um, no one else is watching, just you, right? So get after it, guys. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. We'll see you here next time.